In this video, I want to show you why e of x for the Poisson distribution is just lambda. So I want to derive that. Now, this is an extension video, so you won't be expected to replicate this in the exam, just to be clear. Um, now, what you need uh, for this is you need to know about the Maclaurin series for e to the x. Now, the Maclaurin series is a topic that you meet usually in the second year of A-level further maths um, in the pure section. And what you find is that you can write e to the x as an infinite series polynomial. So e to the x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial plus x to the 4 over 5 factorial. So it keeps on going like that forever. So essentially we could write that as the sum from r is equal to 0. So that's when r is equal to 1, that would be r is equal to 0. To infinity, so an infinite sum of x to the r over r factorial. Now we know that e of x is equal to the sum from r is 0. Now we would usually say r is 0 up to n, but n here, because the Poisson distribution goes on forever, there is no upper limit. So this is r is 0 to infinity, so we've got to look at an infinite sum of r times each of the respective probabilities. Now, I can then write that as the sum from r is 0 to infinity of r times e to the minus lambda times lambda to the r over r factorial. So I'm just replacing the formula in there. OK. Now, one thing that we've recognised as we've gone through these extension videos um, to derive these uh, e of x's and v of x's is that in this case as well, you've got it starting at r is 0 and you've got r there. So you know that the first term is just going to be 0 because you're going to have 0 times this. So actually, this is the same as me just starting the summation from r is 1. There's nothing wrong with me doing that because the first term is 0 anyway. Now we know that r factorial is r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 times r minus 3 all the way down to 1. So r factorial is the same as r times by, well that is just r minus 1 factorial. So here we've got r times r minus 1 factorial in the denominator. And we've got r there, so the r's can cancel. So I'm also, actually, at this stage, I'm going to bring that e to the minus lambda out of the summation. Um, it's got nothing to do with r, so there's perfectly fine me doing that. So I'm going to bring that out of the summation. I'm now, I've got r is 1 to infinity. And remember, I've cancelled the r with the denominator, with the r in the denominator there. So I've got lambda to the r. Uh, over r minus 1 factorial. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a lambda out of the numerator there. So I'm going to have e to the minus lambda times by the summation of r is 1 to infinity and I'm going to have lambda to the 1 times lambda to the r minus 1. So I'm just going to factor lambda out of the numerator. And because that lambda there has got nothing to do with r, I'm just going to bring it all the way out of the summation. And I'm going to have lambda times e to the minus lambda times the summation from r is 1 to infinity of lambda to the r minus 1 over r minus 1 factorial. OK. 
So, at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a substitution. So, let's let, what should we use? Um, let's let uh, y be equal to r minus 1. Okay. Now, if y is equal to r minus 1, then I've got lambda e to the minus lambda times by the summation of. Now, if r is equal to 1, then y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. And this is going from r is 1 up to infinity. Well, if r is infinity, then clearly y is infinity as well, so that would be going up to infinity. And we've got lambda to the r minus 1, so lambda to the y, over y factorial. Now this here is what we've got up here. Okay, It's just with the letters have been changed. So actually, this is the same as e to the lambda. So here we've got lambda e to the minus lambda times e to the lambda. And of course, those multiply to make 1. And so we just get lambda. And so that is how we can prove that lambda is equal to e of x for the Poisson distribution.